Hello and g'day. In today's video, we're going to make mini envelope tabs. I'm Donna. Everybody should put at least one type of tab in their junk journal. These tabs look fantastic. You can use them as page tabs. You can use them on the side or on the top. You can put a little clip on them or you can have them just sit in place depending on how you put on your little embellishment. So you can also use them on journal cards like this and you can leave secret messages in them for that nice surprise like this. Now these tabs are, they, all it is, is a little envelope. You can leave them blank for journaling for whoever you give the journal to can write their own message in it or you can put the message in it yourself. But they're a great little bookmark if you wanted to, you know, find something quickly, you can put it on the page that you want. So I've just got the little owl there. So if you love owls, or butterflies or anything like that. You can make one with a butterfly on it. I just use these little chipboard, um, these are shop bought ones. So you just get those and you just make your envelope up and glue those in place. This one here is, I've just cut a disc out of um, pattern paper and I've used a notebook paper so you can actually write on that one with the lines. That's a little mother of pearl vintage button. So I've just cut a one inch disc and then I've got my smaller circle punch out and I've just got smaller and smaller and then just piece them together and glued that into place. When you glue this on, you just glue it up a bit higher so that you've got, it feels like a tab. That's not going to really fall off. Um, you, you're going to shake it a lot and it's, see how it's sort of still only just come off on the angle a little bit. So you've got to be pretty rough with your book to make them fall off. So you, you don't normally treat your book like that. So if you wanted to make sure it stayed on there, just grab a little um, paper clip. These are Tim Holtz paper clips and just paper clip it down. Same again, I've just put that paper clip there. That's a, a brooch, a jewellery brooch that I just recycled. So I've taken the back part off the brooch, cut a disc, put some seam binding ribbon behind it and some gauze, some medical gauze. And this time this piece is stamped. You know, you just stamp your tea dyed paper and that's my tab there. See how I've got it sitting up. You've got to make sure both sides are looking pretty good. So again, that's the tab. That's another one. Just using the postage paid stamps that I cut off the envelopes. I've got a video to show you how to do that. This looks pretty effective using, uh, I don't know what this is like, a spiderweb type ribbon and the seam binding and I glue them on an angle so that it's actually the trim is glued on an angle that way and then the the disc pokes up a little bit so you've got a tab. This is for uh, like a sewing theme. I've just used a different paper again. It's like a craft paper and I was practicing testing my stamping, you know, before you stamp directly into your book, I always stamp off on another piece of paper or craft or whatever I'm using to test. So I recycled that and put the seam binding and that there and just glued on the scissors. With these little scissors, they're like a, it had a, a hook on it or a, a link so that I could use it for jewellery. So I just broke that off and sanded it back and made it into just a, an embellishment. And I've glued some pattern paper down onto a cut disc 
so that it, it was a sturdy enough so that when you hold it, it, it is sturdy enough to be a tab. And I used E6000 to glue that on because it's a metal. So that's that one. And that's again the chipboard leaf, same sort of method and just feed that through your book page again. And it's this one. I've what I've done is I've glued another disc on the back to make it this one doesn't unfold. It's all glued down just to make it a tab. It doesn't have the message option in it, this one. So that one's a straight out tab. This one here opens up. They all open up except for that one. And this one here, I've got some embroidery thread. You guys in America call it embroidery floss and I've matched it to the print. So I've got the blue and the airmail print that's on that tiny bit of um, printed design paper from one of the six by six pads that I used and the seam binding again and it just balances it. It just looks nice and I used some tea dyed paper that I tea dyed the alphabet on it as well and that will sit in the page and be used as a tab also. These are the little Tim Holtz paper clips. Aren't they just adorable? They're perfect for these tiny little things. You know, I wouldn't, I, I really wouldn't be bothered putting like a big paper clip like that on. And it's a, this project is a great way to use all these offcuts. So I, I just wouldn't put that on there, you know. It's just competing, it's too big. So all you had, you could use it. But like I said, they don't even need it. They sit, they just tend to sit on your page or on your journaling card quite well. Okay, so let's get and make some. So all I've done is I've made myself a template that's divided into three. So say you've just got a piece of paper and it's just sitting there like that. You can either cut it or you can rip it. So once you've worked out the size you want to make this in, you can just do that and you can rip it. If you want to be a bit neater, you work out where the tea stains are that you like best. Once that's cut to size, I use my template to mark the center. So that's my fold line to get the center of the top of the envelope. And just match them up as close as you can, folding them two in together. Then I put that at my template and I'll fold that up to there. Then all there's left to do is fold that over and turn it into a little envelope. That's pretty much the base of your book tab made. Okay, so that's, your template is super easy. The width and the height. The width is an inch and a half. The length is about three inches and one eighth. So it's eight centimeters by 3.7 centimeters. I've got this piece ready here. It is entirely up to yourself as to whether you put a circle behind it. I like to put the circle behind it because it creates a tab for me. It creates something that I can hold on to. So I've cut out a pile here. I've used designer scrapbook paper. I've used the, the little um, postage paid pre-printed stamps that I've cut off my recycled envelopes. 
they look really good keep in mind that you do cover a little bit of them up I've used book pages that are glued onto just a plain paper disc I've used book pages that have nice little designs on them that have got a little bit of um, thickness to the page they're not real paper pages they're quite heavy this one here I've used the Tim Holtz packaging I cut that out there and that that looks pretty good his packaging is really cool so I've used that and you can see that by this one here this one here I've used bits of pattern piece pieces from a pattern an old pattern and then I've stamped a little cat on it there's you know lots of things that you can do to to get your disc right so for this one here I think we'll use it this way and I'll glue that on so I've got it the book pages glued on both sides because we're going to see this because it's a book page or a journaling card tab you need to have it looking good both sides so I use art glitter glue for my adhesive I'm just going to glue down the disc first make sure that you've got it up the way you want to see it and you only need to have a little bit hanging over you don't need to have a real lot you can guide that's a one inch remember that's a one inch circle so you can have it right to the edge of your envelope there because you still can open and use this envelope and then we'll start gluing down the background pieces as well I want them peeking out so I'm going to fold it so that I can see how I'm placing it I'm going to ruffle that up a bit a little bit more glue there and see how I'm following the angle of the envelope there really are no rules you can follow whatever angle you like if you're more a, a left orientated person and you'd rather follow it that way do that straight up the middle do that you can follow whatever angle you like now this one here I'm going to use the fabric glue the in Australia I get this Helmar fabric glue from spotlight and I'm using this because it's not really a metal this piece and this fabric glue is super good it's quite strong if this was a metal piece I'd use the the E6000 so I'm just going to pop that there so it forms part of that tab so at the back I've got it looking good and at the front I've got that tab it's not overly heavy either so I've done that first because I want it to dry but just to finish it off because it is a Chinese sort of thing I've kept my little envelope tab plain and I'm going to just pop a little bit of glue in there and I'm going to put a bead in it just so that that hole that you would normally put a an o-ring in for hanging something off I'm just going to put a little good luck bead in it because red is always associated with the Chinese for good luck so I'll just leave that to dry now Now this one here, this is a piece of a doily and I just cut that out of the doily. I've used the Tim Holtz as a disc. This piece here 
was a sling out of a first aid kit. You know, when if you break your arm or sprain your wrist or something, you tie the sling around your neck. Well, I just got went to the first aid kit to throw all the old stuff out and I got that out and thought, oh, I can use that. That can be a good background cloth for my things. So I've folded my envelope. I'm just going to glue that onto there and then build it up. You don't want anything too thick and heavy. This would be good if it really was popping up, you know, out of the book. So this one here, I've got to be a bit careful because it might end up being just a little bit too bulky. But I'll know once I make it up. Now it doesn't matter that it's gone over the edge of the envelope there because it's free. It's not interfering with anything. Okay, so that's that one. When that one dries, we'll put it to the test in a book. Now this one here, I've used full-on pattern paper with a two-sided print. And I've got this one ready. I've got some string that I've just was plain colored and I've just pulled it through the Distress Ink Vintage Photo just to give it some variation in color. So I've or pre-glued some pattern paper. I cut out a piece of white cardboard stock, plain. Then I cut out a piece of pattern paper using the punch and then glued those two pieces together, then glued that onto this pattern piece. Now I'll glue that onto there on that angle, following that angle. But before I do that, I'm going to use this string behind it just to give it a little bit more decoration. But I'm going to use it on a different angle so that it shows up like that. Pull that string up a little bit because I do want that to be showy. And that's another one completed. This one here, this one is using the Edith Holden paper. So I've just got a page out of the Edith Holden book, which is always beautiful, no matter what. This, this is a garlic flower. So I'll keep working on this Edith Holden one. When I come up with the right things to put on it, I'll come back and show it to you. This one here, I've stamped the tea dyed paper and stamped it on the inside. And I've got the postal paid stamp on there as well. And I could just pop a button on there. I'm not even going to put any string in the buttons. I'm just going to keep them looking like that. And I've got some tickets that I made up. And I've, these tickets, I've just reduced them in size and cut them down and used my sticky tape trick and made them smaller and you know to use things like that get them you know get creative and pop these things on your little tabs and and see how they look you know see what you can come up with if something doesn't work change it just keep moving things around until you find something that you think will work and look good. I'll put the measurement that I used to make this mini envelope tab on my website for you so you can make it the same size as I have here. I'm Donna, thanks for watching and bye for now. And now we're in the shadows, I wanna feel your blue.